Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create this basic duck swimming animation and also from this tutorial you can learn how to create water shader and use dynamic paint in Blender. So hope this tutorial will be useful and by the end of this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please hit on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.90, nice. Now let's select this default cube and delete. Now select this light, come to this light properties and change it to sun, fine. Now let's create a solid plane, further go to this add or else you can use shift plus A, select plane, now press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling of this plane. Now press tab on the keyboard to enter edit mode, right click, subdivide, do it couple of times and over here and let me change this number of cuts to 35 okay now press tab on the keyboard once again to exit edit mode fine so this is going to be our water and we are going to add water shader here so for that over to here so when you see this plus sign hold left mouse key and drag downwards to split the screen now change this to shader editor now select the plane, come to this material properties, hit on this new button. So we got this principal shader here. So now let's add few nodes here. So click on this add, go to this input, first add this UV map, place it here. Now again go to this add vector, add this, where is this mapping, add this mapping. Now again go to this add texture, add noise texture place it here now let's add bump map so go to this add where is this i think it is in vector yeah vector add bump map so now let's connect uv of this uv map to vector of mapping let me show you clearly so connect the vector of mapping to vector of noise texture and color of noise texture to height and normal of this to let me move it up normal of this map to normal of this principal shader fine so if we reduce this specular and roughness increases transmission and click on this material preview you can see we got our water shader here so let me reduce the scaling to I think 2 would be fine okay nice strength I will reduce to 0.5 distance also reduce to 0.5 okay now let's select this mapping and noise texture duplicate it by pressing shift plus T bring it down place it here now connect UV to vector so let me drag it below now let me place mapping here let the noise texture be here now go to this add and in search for mix rgb select this mix rgb and place it here now get this color and connect it to color one and this color to color two and here from color to height of this bump map so from this we can let me show you drag it up. so from this we can control the strength here and also distance fine so I will be leaving the distance to 0.5 and strength to 0.5 only just play with the values of the strength distance scale and detail to get different look here now beyond the first frame enable keyframe of this location right click and insert keyframes repeat the same with this second one also so right click and insert keyframes now move to the last frame and let me change this values to 0.25 so this indicates the speed of this water movement i will show you wait one second so again 
change this to 0 0.25 0 0.25 0.25 right click insert keyframes so now if we play this animation we can see this movement in the water here but this movement is not constant as you can see at the starting it is slow at the center it is at max and at the end it is going slow so we need to make it so select this plane click here and change it to graph editor come to this key interpolation mode and select linear so now if we play this we will have that water movement constant throughout the timeline fine now let's close this okay so here i will be using a duck model which i have downloaded from free3d.com it is free to download link in the description so go to this file import it is in obj format so select this wavefront obj and select that duck model where you have saved where you have downloaded so here you can see we got this rubber duck model which is an object file select it and import nice now let's rotate so click on this rotate press n on the keyboard now select the duck model let me change this x rotation to zero fine now press s on the keyboard reduce the scaling i think this would be fine now let me place it here okay and let me move it downward here okay let me change this to shader mode fine okay now let's select this duck model and duplicate it by pressing shift plus d now press x on the keyboard move it in x axis let me bring it here now reduce the scaling press s and reduce the scaling fine let me move it just now duplicate this shift plus d x axis and place it here now select all these duck models so hold shift key and select them beyond the first frame press i on the keyboard and set keyframe for location now again move to the last frame now move these ducks forward here like this okay now again press i on the keyboard and set keyframes for location so now speed won't be constant so go to this graph editor key come to this interpolation mode and change it to linear now let's move back to this 3d viewport so if you play this animation we'll get that constant speed fine now let's use dynamic paint to get some waves effect while these ducks are moving forward so let me move back to this material fine now select this plane click on this physics properties and select dynamic paint now in type change it to canvas add canvas scroll down and change this surface type to waves now select these ducks add dynamic paint type change it to brush add brush and repeat the same for other also so if we play this animation you can see we got this nice ripple effect but the waves are looking blocky so select the plane right click shade smooth it's better now let's move back to this first frame now if we scroll down let's reduce this speed to 0.25 I think this would be better now let's see this animation okay so now we got this nice I think we can see this ripple or wave formation while the ducks are moving forward fine now come to this render properties enable ambient occlusion so distance I think one would be fine enable screen space reflections also so that we'll get some nice reflections 
in the water of these tags and bloom if you want you can use so I'll be leaving this to here so now let's click on this render viewport come to this world properties color and add environment texture so here I got a lake view HDRI image which I have downloaded from HDRI heaven link in the description so select it open image nice I think this sunlight is too harsh so select that light light properties Two. I think it's enough color I will be changing this to light orange okay fine now press ctrl alt 0 to get this camera view so suppose if you are not getting this it means that there is no camera in your scene so let's add that if you are not having that so go to this add and add this camera after that press ctrl alt 0 now press n on the keyboard come to this view and select this camera to view okay now we can adjust our scene here so let me adjust So once the camera position is set, now let's move to the render options. So if you click on this render properties, here you can use either EV render engine or cycles. So if you're using cycles, it will take much time when compared to EV, but look wise, it will be good. So if you are using cycles, make sure to change this GPU compute. If your device has GPU or else you can use CPU. So here I will be using EV only. So I will be leaving this to EV. Nice. So once the render engine is selected. So once this is done, click on this. Here resolution you can set. Currently it is in full HD. I will be leaving that to full HD. Scroll down. Make sure to enable this render region. So that it renders this region only and frames here you can select currently it is 1 to 250 frames and frame rate here you can change i will be leaving this to 24 and the output folder you need to select here so let me select output folder where i want to save images so here i selected a folder created a folder and selected it to save the output files nice so in file format you can use either png or jpeg or else you can directly render it into video format but i will suggest to use image format only because in case if the render stops in between if you are using png or jpeg sequence you can continue the render from the next frame but in video format we need to re-render again everything so it's better to select so I'll be selecting this JPEG format, nice, and quality 100. So once these settings are done, now it's time to bake this animation. So without baking, we can't get the animation in the final output render. So in order to bake the animation, select the plane, come to this physics properties, scroll down to the cache, let me expand it. Here you can see it is grayed out currently because the project file is not saved. So without saving we can't bake. So first we need to save the project. So let me save it. Go to this file. Save. And let me save it here only. So it is attack. And save blender file. So now we can see we got options to use now. So now click on this bake all dynamics. So you can see it is starting the bake so once the baking is done if you want to see this animation you can see just play so here you can see we got that animation nice so make sure that baking is done before rendering the animation so once the baking is done go to this render and render animation and one more thing uh, in output properties scroll down and uncheck this overwrite fine now go to this render and render animation 
so in this way we can create this basic duck swimming animation in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please hit on that like button do share this content and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me so we will meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye